In this ReWorld Studio tutorial, we will take a quick look around ReWorld Studio. ReWorld is a new gaming platform where you can create your own games. Let's get started. After you have downloaded ReWorld Studio, you will need to register your free account and then come back to this login screen to log in. Okay, once you have logged into ReWorld Studio, you should have a screen similar to this. Here, you can see your games under the My Games tab or use some of the pre-made maps to help get you started. I'm going to choose the village map and have a quick look around it and then explain a few things using the built-in help system. Use the WASD keys on your keyboard to move around and right-click and hold your mouse button to move the camera. As you can see, there are quite a lot of things in the pre-made map to give you ideas for your game. But for today, I just want to show you how to navigate the studio menus and controls. Follow what I do. Click the hamburger icon in the top left of your screen. Then move down to help. And then over to start guide like this. Okay great. This is the getting started guide for ReWorld Studio. So when you get stuck, just come back here to find your way around. Just click the screen to start this help guide. The main menu is open by clicking on the hamburger button at the top. This is where important tools for saving and uploading your work are kept. The Import Resources button allows you to import audio, images, models, and media into your project. When you are ready to publish your game, use the Publish button to share it privately with your friends or share it publicly with the world. The toolbar provides quick access to the important tools you will need when building your games, like adding new parts to the workspace, scaling and rotating, etc. The Hamburger menu opens the main menu. You're doing great. You already know this. Check these boxes to turn on Snap Rotate or Snap Move. This will help you line up objects at perfect angles and distances. In this section, you can select the Select Tool, Move Tool, Rotate Tool, and Scale Slash Transform Tool. With these tools, you can control any part in your world. These check boxes turn collisions and constraints on and off for selected objects. The Collision checkbox controls collision detection of global objects, and the constraint checkbox works on constraint relationship between objects when dragging. These tools are union, reverse, and split. With union, you can combine objects. With reverse, you can make an object delete part of another object. And with split, you can undo a union operation. These tools create parts and change their appearance. Create part makes new part shapes. Material changes the physical material of the part and color changes the color applied to the material. These tools group parts together in groups and create constraints. Group parts creates a group. Ungroup parts removes a group and create constraints will create a slider, hinge, or other constraint between two parts. Here you can run your game from the start, a specific position, or in debug mode. Select each function tab to open different tools like the Workspace Manager, Terrain Editor, Resources, and Animation Editor. Click here to open the store, a marketplace, with resources from all over the world you can use in your own projects. You can also view others and manage your own shop. The viewport is the main way to interact with your game. You can move the camera around the world with the keys shown here. The work bar displays the currently selected tool tab. Shown here is the manager, where you can select and organize all the objects in the scene. Finally, the properties panel contains all the adjustable properties of the currently selected object. Make your games come to life by carefully editing the properties of your parts, effects, and other objects. That was a short overview of the main parts of the ReWorld Editor. Stay tuned for more ReWorld Studio tutorials, which I will be doing in future videos. This is the God of Coding at Epic Blocks to signing off, see you in the next one.